Hello and welcome to a recap of today's Python and Django live code hangout. We've been working on the Jerry Live Companionship Care app today and just some relatively minor improvements to our continuous integration pipeline. Um, specifically running the project tests and doing a little bit of a reorganization. We weren't running the test suite previously and there's uh, some minor um, naming convention improvements. Took a little bit to work through, but here are the, here's the pull request. It's in draft state, so I'll mark it as ready for review. As you just can see here, uh, we had some failures as we were working through the improvements, but our current commit is passing all tests. And just as a way of reference, um, here are, is our CI pipeline. GitHub provides a free code QL uh, service that'll analyze your code base and look for common security vulnerabilities. So we're using that. We have a Python lint uh, pull request, which actually should be now named lint and um, test. I'll rename that off stream since we're summarizing now. And we're running this code QL somehow twice. I'm not sure that's the default. Um, I think part of it is it puts the results in line as kind of comments in your code base. If something occurs, this code base was mainly dealing with one file, so there's no inline comments, and we're also running code climate. So with these kind of automated checks and our own sort of bespoke tests, which are basically um, running Flake 8 and Black for formatting the code and some Python tests, um, we're putting our code base in a little bit of, um, I think, on the track for uh, better health. So let's take a quick look at what changed. And really it boils down to one configuration file that I was working on today. In this GitHub workflows, we have a Python YAML. And I reorganized the file. So oh, some, this, for example, flagate test was moved into a general lint stage. And I just renamed these to lint, isort and black and um, sort of the flagate. They're all kind of linting the code. They're making sure that our code passes low level quality um, standards that can be automated, those checks can be automated. The higher level of stuff needs um, human um, review essentially. You can't really automate some tests and those could include um, these, well to a certain extent writing automated uh, unit and integration tests when you know there's a kind of a suite or a behavior that you want uh, to ensure is working consistently, but also during the pull request review process, you'll be scanning for things like um, code that doesn't follow the project conventions, naming conventions, for example, or organizational like file structure or where to put models and things like that. And to a certain extent, those can't all be automated. So we will, of course, still be using pull request review to catch those, but our pipeline is essentially linting. It installs our dependencies, which um, we use Poetry Package Manager, and in Poetry we'll install our Python dependencies in a virtual environment. Then we run isort in black and flake eight to make sure the code um, at a low level passes um, quality checks. And we run our um, manage pi test command to run the essentially unit or integration tests in the project. The remaining changes, I'm gonna scroll kind of quickly, are just related to uh, lint or ignoring lint rules, unused imports, lines that were too long. And some of it was black doesn't automatically format comments, so I just needed to make the comments a little bit shorter or ignore it in some cases. But for doc string comments, it was not a big deal to ignore those. And the Django migrations are auto-generated, don't quite pass um, auto pep eight at least, the older ones. I think there's been some recent work in Django 4 to make the migrations pass black formatting requirements, which pretty much aligns with pep eight with a minor configuration uh, um, that you can see here to make those two harmonize. I think black is a bit more strict on pep eight formatting than auto pep eight itself. <laughs> so that's uh, in a nutshell the changes today. So yeah, thank you very much for your time and I hope you're doing well out there.